the third eye. The Third Eye is a Taiwanese ghost movie with one of the worst posters I've ever seen. Look at this garbage here. Anyways, it's about these sisters who inherit a house teeming with ghosts after their parents pass away. How is it? Well, I'll let you know as we all get spooky with spoilers. Okay, so the movie stars a bunch of people I have never seen. Admittedly, I haven't seen that many Taiwanese movies. However, and I know I'm gonna mispronounce his name, but I recognized Epi Kusnander from The Raid 2, which was awesome, and he was in VHS too. And he was in one of the better stories even. Wait, 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 hold on. Ah, it's a shame that he's in this film, and on top of that, very underutilized. Anyways, let's get started. The movie starts off with our main characters, older sister Aaliyah and younger sister Abel. They're hanging out at their house and Abel is basically saying she is seeing ghosts, but no one believes her. That night we get a decent scare and Abel is attacked by a ghost, but the second everyone gets into her room, no one is there and she has a bunch of scratches on her legs. We jump to present day and Aaliyah is getting coffee with her boyfriend, Davin. She gets a call that her parents were killed in a car accident, Final Destination style, except instead of wooden logs, it's steel bars. Both work just as well in my humble opinion. So she and her younger sister gotta pack their shit up and move back to into their childhood home because the place they're currently staying at, their dad's company owned it, and since he's dead... You're out of there! Go on, you're gone. Go on. The first day they get there, Abel is harassed pretty aggressively by the ghosts. Aaliyah tries to help her out and Abel opens up about her third eye and how she can see the dead. Hmm, this seems familiar. I see dead people. So Abel tells Aaliyah that she's been seeing a medium since she was a kid and the three of them go to the medium and she breaks down that basically everyone has a third eye. It's just some people have it closed and some open and with it you can see ghosts. No one knows when or why the eye opens but Abel's has been open since she was five. Aaliyah asks if it can be forced open and the medium, Boo Windu, says yes they can. So they do a ceremony and Aaliyah doesn't see anything immediately. She calls bullshit and they all go home. The boyfriend bounces and he says a few words in English to her, which is kind of weird. Is that normal? Are there any Taiwanese people here watching? I mean, let me know if that is a normal custom thing to do. Aaliyah notices some bruises on her arms and she goes to the hospital, which turns into Ghost City. Some good, some bad, some scary, some mediocre looking shit, and she just runs home. Abel tells Aaliyah about ghosts. Some look normal, some don't, some smell bad, some smell nice, some make you feel sick, and some don't. They bond a little and Aaliyah reveals that she's been dating her boyfriend for eight months and has never met his parents. Ah, so he's a ghost. No fucking way. I'm sorry, but there was no way I wasn't going to guess that. That night they get seriously attacked by the ghosts of the house and go back to the medium for help. The medium says a way to make ghosts go away is to resolve their unfinished business. So they have a vision trip and see a flashback of a burglar robbing the house while the family is home and he cuts the leg off the husband and locks them all in the closet. And the medium says that they died without oxygen. Um, bullshit. Should have said that they starved to death cause there's no way they would have suffocated in a room like that. Anyways, they investigate a bit more and the older sis gets possessed by one of the spirits. She has different colored eyes, cuts on her face, and speaks in a monster voice. So they tie her to the bed and do an exorcism. Now, where have I seen this before? Reagan Therese McNeil. Ah! So he may no longer hold captive this person. They go back and see the burglar leave the house with its riches. He, of course, takes his mask off right before he leaves for no fucking reason. Turns out it was the gardener, which we saw for like four seconds before. Then he puts his mask back on and he jumps out the window. This writing is shit. Aaliyah breaks the bonds, goes to kill the gardener. Turns out his boss was a dick and didn't pay him when his wife was pregnant. He gets sliced and diced by Aaliyah. And once the deed is done, the spirit jumps into Abel's body because this unfinished business is a two-parter. Kill the robber, then take a spirit down to the underworld because they had the audacity to live in a ghost's house. 
So they do a seance in the hospital, completely ignoring how Aaliyah would have gotten away with murdering the gardener, but who cares? Cause the writers don't. So they are about to go to the underworld and the medium says the boyfriend will be a great guy to hide Aaliyah cause he is actually a ghost. Called it. So we get his flashback. I don't care. We see the underworld and it's mostly red with some fog and some random ghosts wandering aimlessly. Hey, this also looks familiar. Dalton. Daddy. Oh god. Daddy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. They find Abel and get out of there. The boyfriend sticks around because he has accepted that he is dead. And the movie ends with the sisters still being bothered by ghosts, but they get the courage to ask what one of them wants, hinting that they are going to do this for the rest of their lives, and that's the end to the insidious third eye's exorcism into the sixth sense. This movie started off with some decent scares, then it just became very eh. The effects most of the time looked terrible. I didn't really care when we kept getting flashbacks of backstories and it really does feel like three movies jammed together. If and when you see this, I mean, I don't recommend it, but if you do, you'll recognize the scenes and they feel like they're literally pulled from other movies. This movie is one out of the like seven Thai movies that I've seen and it blows. Just go watch Incantation and also my review on Incantation. Tomorrow is Brooklyn 45, which I've already done, so I'll link the review to that in the description. Stay spooky till day 22.